Low-income housing is a very touchy issue. Some people like it, some people don't. And where it's located, it's, it's the NIMBY, not in my backyard. Unfortunately, uh, the feds have a very strong hand in this. And so I feel that the best way to deal with the housing situation for the low-income people is to raise their incomes. We need to have a strong community. We need to have more businesses. We need to have uh, more family wages. And to do that, we need to have a good, solid infrastructure in which to, which to support that. And so, in some respects, we are our hands are tied in, in terms of low-income housing, but uh, we can untie those hands. Okay, Mr. Terrell. Low-income housing, the city's going to be growing. We can put it out there. Uh, we can put it in those areas. We have a lot of vacant fields that we can put those houses in. The biggest thing is, is once you start giving those houses to these folks, they're going to expect you, the government, the city, to come and take care of it. They're not going to. They don't have the mentality. They just don't have the drive or the pride to keep that housing up. If the city wants to do that, then they have to have rules and say, you will keep it up or you will have to vacate. I know that sounds harsh, but these people look at government as their mother and father. They don't look at them as the respect. Thank you. All right, Mr. Roller. Well, uh, as some people here know, I have bad, bad experience with low-income housing because I got 50 rental units dropped in our uh, next to our townhouses in Maple Park, and uh, it was uh, certainly overwhelming for me. It was amazing uh, what, how how much power the federal government and its agents can have when they come into a place, and there's not much you can do about it. We fought them all the way to state and lost. Uh, uh, basically, so we have 50 low-income housing units in the same footprint as the 28 owner-occupied houses in Maple Park. Um, I think, yeah, there's a place for these things, but I think we ought to look at our land use uh, laws for one thing, because uh, I'm just amazed that they can't, uh, they can't uh, separate rentals out from owner-occupied if it's a townhouse, for instance. Uh, I mean, I have no problem with a low income next door or whatever because uh, there's already one block away. But, but uh, I was just amazed that the land use laws allow that. Thank you.